Hey everyone, we're Be Geeky Blog. Today we're going to be recapping Shadowhunters episode 6 called Of Men and Angels. Be Geeky Blog. My name's Katrina. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter under XXKMGamingXX. And I'm known as Bren at ScarletNerd24 on Z Twitter. So we're going to give you guys our top five moments, our highlights, our what the Fs, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to start with our numero uno, the Lightwood family. This Lightwood family, they get me, man. So we've already met the mother, Mm -hmm. and now we are meeting their father and their younger brother, Max. Max. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who, to me... Doesn't look like the other. Doesn't yeah. Doesn't really look like the other Lightwoods. No, no. But he's cute. Cute little kid. Yeah, cute little kid. Um, apparently, uh, they're mad at Alec and Isabel. Mm-hmm. Um, saying they're like disgracing their name. That they need to you know restore their name, and the way to do that is to arrange a marriage. Because getting married is just how you fix things. Yeah. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, what do you think? I am I was kind of surprised, and I think that they're unaware of Alex's sexual orientation. I think, I think so he's too. still kind of discovering that himself, but mm-hmm. um, it's interesting, and Isabel is really protective of him. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, it, it's an interesting family dynamic. Like, the mom doesn't want to see, you know, want her kids to see her cry, and then mm-hmm. she's hard at one time, then she's soft in the other. Mm-hmm. It's very, like, back and forth. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know how she, you know, was talking to Isabel, and she's saying that, you know, Isabel's so passionate over like downworlders like mm-hmm. she's friends with Seelies and all sorts of things like that and she's like your passion is dangerous so and then she's saying says stuff like I used to be like you and mm-hmm. all that stuff so I thought that was quite interesting yeah and I also thought it was interesting how like with Alec she's like you're very by the book mm-hmm. and you told me he's like mommy told me to not be by the book so when I did against what I have been training to do, mm-hmm. I end up breaking a kid's nose and, like, winning this kid in a mm-hmm. fight, and I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Where she's, like, bend the rules. Number two, Simon. Simon. Simon says. So, yeah, we've all seen Simon's, like, super strength now. You know, he's, we, I think we all know we he's all pretty much know turning going. into a vampire, mm-hmm. um, and I think... Jace is starting to catch on to that a little bit. I think he knows. I think I think because, so too. I mean, come on. It's kind of obvious. I mean, he was captured by vampires, yeah. and now he's acting super duper different, like stronger yeah. and more confident. I, I think Jace is definitely discovering it, and I thought it was interesting when he saw Camille, mm-hmm. and then he walks over to her. He sees himself dead on the on the floor. Yeah. I'm not sure what that's all about. Mm-mm. Me neither. But yeah, and another interesting mm-hmm. thing is, you know, speaking of Jason Simon, is mm-hmm. that they make a little friendly wager. Hmm. Mm. I don't know how I would feel about <laughs> two guys wagering my uh-huh. affections. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if I would like that very much. No. No. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> you just left $20. Yeah. Is my affection more than $20? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It was it was just kind of strange. It was it was a weird scene. Moving on to yeah. our number three. Three. So we're gonna talk about everyone's lots of people's favorite, which mm-hmm. is Malik. 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 Magnus and Alec. Their relationship. It's starting to so sprout. Blossom. Yeah. 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 It's getting there. It's getting there. And um. Because this whole episode really is about healing Luke and so, and you know, getting information about the cup. So they immediately after the last episode, they take Luke to see Magnus um, to help, to help Luke, to Mm -hmm. heal him, to make him healthy again. And while, you know, while they're there, Magnus is like, I need Alec. I mean, the, the moments that they did have because, you know... Alec was trying to stay at the institute 
he bought the book and do Don't everything. The family and then cares. his family stuff came up and Isabel kind of told him what was going on. And he's like, screw it. I'm going to go. Do my thing. Yeah. And I'm going to go to where Magnus is and help these people, uh, help Jace because... Chase is his pair at the end mm-hmm. of the day. Yeah. That's his brother. So he goes, and I don't know. It was just, it was, I don't know. I thought it was, like, kind of sweet. It was a sweet part, especially, mm-hmm. like, when he used, like, the last of his, like, mm-hmm. energy. He, like, laid back onto to mm-hmm. Alec, and mm-hmm. Alec's just, like, holding him. Yeah. I, I think, and also, Magnus also mm-hmm. got his drink, finally, that he mm-hmm. wanted from last episode. They did. Yep. And... He admitted to having some feelings. That he unlocked something. In him. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, and we're going to move along to our number four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is Luke. So we learn a lot about Luke this episode. Um, we learn that him and Jocelyn and Valentine were really close back mm-hmm. in the day. A trio. Yeah. Um, we learn that... Um, they, him, he, and Jocelyn mm-hmm. prevented the first up, like uprising with Valentine. Yeah. Um, and that um, Luke and Jocelyn started falling in love when Valentine first started going a little crazy with mm-hmm. the yeah, idea and, of creating more shadow hunters and and he just and Valentine just became like. A jerk to everybody, mm-hmm. including Jocelyn. So mm-hmm. that also bonded them because yeah. Luke was more like a comforter to her. Yeah, yeah. So they they fell in love, right? Mm-hmm. And but that's it's tricky because mm-hmm. because Luke and Valentine were parabatai. Mm-hmm. Parabatai. We're parabatai brothers. Um. So <laughs> they're parabatai. Um. And I guess. When Valentine found out, he, like, went even more crazy. And so he started, um, he wanted to be the best shadow hunter he could be to, I don't know, I don't know. impress her or something. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so he started experimenting on himself mm-hmm. and using, Downworld. like, downworld or blood and all sorts of weird things. And it really... It, I mean, it just kind of made her run further away mm-hmm. from him. Um, and then we also learn that Valentine literally sent Luke into the wolves' den. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he sent him to the wolves. He locked him in. Fed them to the wolves. Yeah. Um, he locked him in in there, and mm-hmm. that's how Luke became a werewolf because of Valentine, but he survived becoming a werewolf, Mm -hmm. so that's good. Speaking of Luke, uh, it's going to lead me right into our number five, Five. which is Clary. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luke is healed by Magnus and Alec with their, Mm -hmm. like, special powers, his enhanced powers, powers. and uh, Luke is having a conversation with Clary. Clary shows him the box that she found Mm -hmm. with the JC on it. And yeah. she ends up learning from Luke that she did have a brother, um, which was Val, uh, Valentine, and Jocelyn's son, mm-hmm. firstborn son, Jonathan. Jonathan Christopher. Yes. We find out Valentine, yes, they have a son, mm-hmm. and then um, Valentine actually set his house on fire and faked his death, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, he ends up... In the process. In the process, killing his son, their baby. Clary's brother. It's very sad. Mm-hmm. Um, so Clary's holding on to this box, and um, while they're also having this conversation, Luke um, tells her, um, you know, Jocelyn ha- used to be an artist. She used to draw just like Clary, um, and she was really great at it. Showing, I think he, did he show her some pictures? I, I don't know if he showed her pictures or if Clary remember. drew pictures. I don't remember, but, um, yeah, so she used to be an artist, but she didn't want anything from her past, um, reflecting onto Clary. So, Mm -hmm. um, she hid it. She hid that she was an artist. Um, and as they're having this conversation, Clary has her hand on the box and it's on top of a white artist paper, like a sketch paper. And, um, 
it ends up getting pushed into the picture, into the artist pic, um, sketch, and mm-hmm. it's sketchbook. like a sketched picture of the box. Yeah. And so Claire's like, oh my god. She's like, this seems familiar, because she had done it in, like, I want to say the very first episode, with that little thing that you eat with coffee. I forget what that's called. Oh, oh gosh. You know. Like a little, like, biscuit thing. Yeah, kind of like a, I forget what they're called. But Me it's too, like I can't think of it. Yeah, yeah. And you dip it in your coffee. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But she did it um, in, like, the first episode, first or second episode, um, but she didn't realize that she did it. Um, and so... Now she goes, oh my gosh, is this, can, is this trait passed down? Did my mother have this trait? And Luke is like, it's possible. Um, and then she's like, I think I know where the cup is. And that's how it and ends. that's how it ends. So I was very happy with this episode. I, I feel like we got a lot of information. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish they would have waited to reveal Valentine until now. Yeah. Because this would have been the perfect... Mm. I know that they wanted to show, like, kind of what he's doing, what he's up to, but I wish they could have done it... Later, because I feel like we learned Mm. about young Valentine. Mm -hmm. It just would have been, like, the perfect time. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just my my little... Like, I just wish... It would have made it so much more suspenseful. Yeah. Um, Agree. Yeah. So, um, I think that's it for for us. Um, Catch Shadowhunters Tuesdays at 9 on Freeform. Freeform. And uh, we'll be here next week. Hope you guys have a great day. Yeah. Bye.